All right, today I'm on a 1976 property and uh, they've done their due diligence on keeping this one up to date. I'm gonna show you some things as a home inspector, what you're going to expect to run into a property of, a, of the age of 1980s, 1976. So uh, outside, this wood trim has been put in place. It's been there since, since 76, so it's actually pretty old. And what I want to do is uh, show you what they did is they cut off the bottom where it's uh, where it's rotted at the base and they left some holes in at the at the bottom. What this does is it actually invites termites, rodents and uh, insects to enter the property. So this is something that you're going to want to seal up and uh, to prevent any uh, damage to the property. So uh, let me take you to the next item. So for item number two, uh, I have the main water shut off over here. We had to kind of adjust it a little bit to get better water pressure in the property. We noticed the handle was moving excessively and uh, leaking. So whenever you see a lot of algae around your main water shut off, typically this means that it's uh, leaking ar around it or at the base or even at the handle. All right, so for item number three, uh, what we have here is they replaced all the ductwork, which is done pretty well. Uh, they lifted it all up and strapped it in place. But here in Texas, our attic gets so hot, if you do not separate your ductwork by about an inch or an inch and a half, or put insulation inside of it, what that will do is cause uh, the ductwork to condensate and start dripping water in your on your ceiling space. So you'll start catching water stains. This hasn't done it yet because it's so cold outside, uh, but I know it will happen. Uh, the next item with this is they actually turn this uh, ductwork over here too sharp and it's actually kinked. So you're losing about half your air supply uh, to this room right below me. So uh, let's take you to the next item. All right, so for item number four, what I got here is more of a safety concern. What I have is a gas line traveling across from me and it's not very secured. You can see it's extremely loose and it's already starting to get kinked right here in the corner uh, from people grabbing onto it. Uh, this is actually a safety concern because as I come up or down from the attic space, it makes you want to grab onto something. Uh, this could cause you to fall out of the attic space or even cause damage or a gas leak inside your property. Uh, let me take you to item number five next. All right, so for the last item is actually a pretty unique find. Uh, I don't find this one too often, but what I like to do is actually test the fireplace when it's running and then with this gas valve open, I'll actually pull out my gas leak detector and I'll, I'll test the valve while it's open. Oh, it to warm up a little bit, but you can see that there's a gas leak whenever it's, uh, whenever it's open. So, but uh, there is not a gas leak in it whenever it's closed. So um, those are some really great finds with Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and please like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks guys, bye.